Uh, my name's Clive and welcome to Discus Fish at Warwick's Harbour Lodge. Okay, um, the tools you're going to need, I didn't bother getting them out, there's so little to get out. You need a piece of sandpaper, you need a mastic gun, a junior hacksaw and a quarter inch drill bit and uh, obviously a battery or electric drill. Uh, the materials you're going to need. Um, you need to go out to uh, your, your utility room and no doubt your wife's got a bottle of this um, fabric conditioner. Um, you need one of these tops. Um, the reason you need that is that it's it's basically uh, the right size to um, fit into a piece of this 40 mil waste pipe. Okay, so find yourself a fabric conditioner top. Then inside, you'll notice that there's a orangey coloured lump. Um, that is actually. Um, one of the weights when you buy your plants for the tank um, that is one of the, the um, ceramic weights that come in the uh, plant pot and uh, you'll find that they uh, almost fit into the uh, lid top there is a bit of uh, residue around here where the things made and if it doesn't quite go in don't force it because you'll crack the lid go around with a pair of um, wire cutters and just simply nibble off a bit of that ceramic round there then all you do is place it into the lid like that get your silicon gun and your fish fish safe silicon and put a bit of put a bit of silicon round there to actually keep it into place um, the reason we're uh, doing this is when this goes on top of the pipe um, it'll actually stop any food particles when you feed the fish it stops the food particles getting down in, in inside the pipe when it's in the upright position otherwise it uh, goes rotten and contaminates the tank so that's basically a lid that's going to go on the top when you're finished and also put a small um, hole in the top just to let the air out and then that'll actually stay in place so that's your lid and your weight and a piece of pipe um, the length of this piece of pipe is not critical really um, but you don't want it uh, to be any taller than the surface of the water. Uh, you don't want it really sticking out the water because sometimes you can't shut the lid down. So just manufacture it so that it's the same height as your water level and you won't go far wrong. Um, another thing you're going to need is um, a four or six inch um, glazed tile. And on there, we're going to silicon um, a plastic ring now you can get those plastic rings either from a straight adapter that you use to join pipe um, I've got an old an old T piece here and all you need to do basically is hacksaw that piece there off of that um, put it onto the ceramic tile and then put loads of silicon around the inside and the outside and um, obviously that is geared up so that it's the right size for that pipe to fit into okay so do that first when it's um, had a f oh I don't know I usually leave it about a day and the next day I come along and um, I get a drill and I put a couple of small holes in two places on the bottom just use the drill in there and put two holes in when it sinks into the tank uh, the water goes in there and fills the pipe up um, but more importantly when this pipe is actually in there and it's stood in the tank if you didn't have those holes in there when you lift it out the tank it makes it quite heavy and the bottom could fall off and crack your tank so that's the base there's your pipe and as I said there is your top and um, if I'm going to have to uh, move the camera and actually show you what the whole thing looks like There you go. Doesn't quite fit in the camera, but um, I think you've got the point there. And that's a nice breeding pole for your discus. Uh, one little point: um, when you're uh, taking it out to clean it, um, obviously you'll get hold of this. You'll get hold of this pipe uh, here, 
um, don't hold it by the tile to twist that out I always find that if you hold it round there and then twist it out you you you, you don't end up pulling that piece of plastic ring off the tile because you otherwise you're going to force it off you don't need to push it in too tight just very lightly and when you lift it in and out of the tank keep hold of the pipe keep hold of the base and just lift it gently in in and out of the tank because obviously you don't want this tile flying off in the tank in the water and then cracking your glass so always hold on to both when you put it in and out of the tank um, the guys absolutely love it um, it simulates the normal uh, reeds that they would lay eggs on in in in, in their home, and um, that's uh, that's it really. So um, another quick video, your uh, discus breeding pole, and I hope you found this useful, and uh, look forward to seeing you soon.